Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. We're back with a Patreon pick. Now, this is an interesting one. He has commented here. Hi, Andrew. I don't think I've seen Between the Buried and Me on your channel. In brackets, I know one video of theirs was blocked. But you got to get around to Blake Richardson again. And yep, I've done, I think now, two videos on Blake Richardson. I always get... Well, quite often get comments, you know, requesting him in the comment section. And yeah, unfortunately, the videos have been blocked in the past. Anyway, I'll carry on with the message. Voice of Trespass is such a fun song. I think you're going to love it. Specifically grabbed the Voice of Trespass drum playthrough. So sadly, you won't get the vocals this time, though. I think it'll surprise you regardless. Now, I think I have or I think that one did get requested by a patron before and the video got blocked. So here we go, second time around, or possibly third time around for Blake Richardson. I really hope, let's all pray, let's hold hands, pray to the gods of the YouTube algorithm that this one does not get blocked. And uh, let's check it out. Okay, I didn't expect the up-tempo shuffle. I've never thought of using double kick for a shuffle groove before. It makes total sense. Um, and the canned horns in, in, the, in the track, you know, like a Letterman-style, uh, someone entering like a talk show. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, despite the clearly rock tuning and, and mix on the post-production mix on the drum sound on the edit, if you tune those toms up a little bit higher, coated heads, this is, this is jazz. This is jazz. Is this typical of Blake's style or... Is this typical of the band sound or is this one out of the box for them? This is. Yeah, I, I did not expect this. <laughs>
love it. Like I've got to say, I I'm really surprised at this. I I really need to know if this is typical of the band. I thought this was more like your, for want of a better term, like a, a standard type heavy band, not a not standard in a derogatory way, but you know the the tropes of a, of a heavier, more chops heavy, really serious heavy band. This seems like full of humor and we've got jazz vocab, but in a heavy rock setting. And I, I just, I didn't expect this. Just classic big band setup. No, that's not classic big band. Precision, absolute precision. This is what I was expecting. Getting a real dream theater kind of vibe from the music. I don't even know what's going to happen next. Could be anything. Really well orchestrated drum parts. Really creative and well executed. That da, 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 that triple left hand hit on the snare there might not seem like a big deal. That's the kind of thing when you hear a drummer doing that and you hear the authority in those strokes. That's what she said. I mean, you can tell straight away this guy can play like this guy can seriously play you just need to hear something like that and there's just no denying the ability of a player let's just back it up it's just so crisp <laughs> uh, it's just a double hit is it
Hold up. Hold up. This isn't a straight hit. Well, well, Jordan, Wildrick, thank you so much for the pick. And I can see clearly why people constantly request Between the Buried and Me. Between the Buried and Me or Beyond the Buried and Me? Hold up. Between the Buried and Me. And Blake Richardson, what a fantastic, creative, and very different drummer. If that's anything to go by, if that's typical of this band, this is uh, quite incredible. And I cannot wait to see more of this. I'm assuming this one is going to get through (laughs) and make it to YouTube. So yeah, if there's anything else like this, like one of Blake's playthroughs, hit me up, let me know because I need to see more of this. I've yeah, I, I really got a dream theater vibe there. I would guess that they're quite heavily influenced by dream theater. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I just get that vibe. It's a little bit of humor and clearly incorporating different styles and different genres and packaging it up in a new and original way. It's just really, really super cool. That was freaking awesome. Guys, as always, the original link is in the description of my video. Hop along and subscribe and drop some love over on Blake Richardson's YouTube channel because uh, he deserves it. What a player. Until next time, ciao.